Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and I'm glad you're here. Guess what we're going to do today? We are going to critique. I had a gal from Portugal send me a couple of her pieces, and I decided, why not do some critiquing? Critiquing of your paintings is one of the best things that you can do for yourself and your work. And so let's look at some pieces and see what's right with them what we might do to, to tweak it. And we're going to go from there. So enjoy, sit back and enjoy. And what I'm going to suggest that you do is to look at these paintings as I do and say, what would I say? What would, what would you think is wrong with them or what's right with them or what do you love about them? And then we'll go from there. But developing your eye to see things is so critical for an artist. So anyway, here we go. This painting is the painting sent by Jana Han uh, in Portugal. And she, would she wanted it critiqued and it's uh, with acrylic and crayon, which is, she says is relative new to her, plus it's a large size. I don't know the size, but the, this one is mostly purple, and she chose to take the purple challenge because it's a color that she's not fond of using. So she wanted to see what would happen. And I find that very, very interesting and absolutely a wonderful challenge. Now, the first thing, Jonah, number one, um, Jan, is that I love your colors. I love uh, your control of the colors. And I love the depth that you have in this painting. But the first level, which is where you've got your center of interest, that is at the very center of your of your canvas. So if you, if at all possible, you could raise that orangey, peachy color and move it and just take it up a little bit so that that is not at the very, very uh, center of your painting. Now, your colors are fantastic. Your depth is great. Look at the mountains. The mountains are wonderful. Look at the sky. There's activity there. There's, there's a, a beautiful mist coming in on the mountain. I, I, you have a great command of color. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And I'm very, very proud of the fact that you do have that. But I would move that, if at all possible, move it over. If it's not possible, then maybe lower the first level or raise it, whichever works for you. But this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. And um, other than that, I'm really having a hard time finding any fault for it because I realize that that the light on the right side is probably from the camera taking the photo. Uh, the, well, I do have one. I would extend that peachy color over so that it's not just in the center. I really would move that over, even if you don't move it up. So the next one that she has is uh, of a warm colors, which she loves. And this one is also fab. This is, I think this is really a beautiful piece. Now, the only thing that I see in this painting that might need to be changed, and it's very minute. Young lady, you are good, and I am enjoying seeing these paintings. The one thing, the, the white shape on the far right, you've got that, then you've got a red, and then you've got another white. Now, the one next to the edge of the painting, I would tone that down a little bit just because my eyes being drawn over there and it's kind of taking me out of the picture. And that's the last thing that you want. As for the red and the other white piece, they're perfect. They're great. I love them. Now, there's no question about where your center of interest is. It is in the, it's the gold. And, um, and I love the lines at the bottom left coming up because they're taking you to that gold. 
you might consider just putting a few little lines in the gold around the gold area at the top. Um, I see you have one there, but you try it and see if it fits. Love the depth in this. Love your sky. Uh, here again, it has mystery. I wonder where this is. I wonder what's going on. It was like the other one. You have a way of producing and creating mystery in your paintings. I love your darks. You know, most people don't put enough contrast in their paintings. You do a great, great job with your contrast. Beautiful. I love the red. I love the gold. I love, I love your colors in this. So congratulations. Fabulous pieces. Keep it up. Now, the next piece is one from Laurel Malone. And what's wrong with this? Well, just a few things. Just one thing, really. Um, the shape behind the head ends at the side of the head, which is not necessarily a great idea. But look at the neutrals. The neutrals are luscious. They're inviting. They're wonderful. But it's not as strong as the piece that she did after this, which is dynamite. This is a warrior. And look at the shapes behind the warrior. It, it frames him. And the colors are bold, and he is strong, and you know, you feel it. You know that this is a very, very strong painting. But here again, look at the neutrals. The neutrals are good enough to eat. Um, I love neutrals. And she didn't feel the need to bring that orange around the neck all the way around. Love that. Love it. This is a fabulous, fabulous piece that would grace anyone's home. Now, the next piece is Jan Griggs. Jan does gorgeous flowers, but I'm going to say, let's figure out what's wrong with this one. Is it beautiful? Yes. But guess what? It needs air, and air is the white canvas or the white paper. And with that, you get a crisp, beautiful feeling in the painting of which I know Jan wants. Jan's great at painting flowers. Here is an example of what air does. Look at this. Air is fabulous. It brings out these dancing flowers. Look at the gracefulness of the colors and her line work. It is stunning. This is what air does, particularly with flowers. It's wonderful. And uh, these are acrylic inks of which Jan uses, and it's fabulous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But now this next piece, it is dynamite. Look at this. It is so luscious with the contrasting colors and clashing colors. The white brings it all out. It makes or breaks a painting. And look at how everything, look at her lines, how graceful they are. It's just like, it's just like a symphony. And I love this. Everything is leading to the two flowers at the top. It's put in the perfect place. Love this painting. Now, the next painting is Jan, uh, I mean, Linda, uh, <laughs> Linda Glassberg. Sorry, Linda. But sensuality is her thing. I think her colors, her, her, uh, the, the neutrals, the line work, look at the line work. It comes in, it goes out, it's thick, it's thin, it's graceful. And the center of interest, you don't wonder where it is. Look at the uh, dark shape at the bottom and it connects to that center of interest, which is surrounded by a beautiful, beautiful orangey rust color, which just enhances the whole picture. But look at her white and look at the dark. This is a gorgeous piece. The next piece is N.W. Smith's, and she did an abstract, and this is what the abstract looked like, and I, it just didn't work. And I have to give N.W. credit. I thought this was a goner, but N.W. doesn't quit. She doesn't give up, and she decided that she was going to take this and make something of it. Now, to me, it kind of looks like stained glass, so she saw flowers in this, and 
what she has done is phenomenal. It's not a finished piece yet, but I wanted to show it to you anyway, because I knew you would enjoy it. This is what she did. Now, here's the thing that, I mean, look at this. Isn't it just amazing? I want you to notice around the pot. On the right side, there's a line. It's really rich, rich color. She did not take that line all the way across because then that would be kind of boring. No, she made it go all the way up, which only made this painting stronger and better. And it's just dynamite. And I have to give her credit because I'm not sure I would have been brave enough to go along and do as much as she did. This is Linda Martins. And Linda is a... a I'm coaching Linda. She's fairly new to the art world, but look at this painting. You know where the center of interest is. It's where the line work is in the dark and the white above. But there's one thing I want you to do. I want you to put your finger on the black at the very top. Now you will see that without that, this painting would not work. And I have to give Linda credit. She has a fabulous eye. It's very much like a lot of artists. If you just don't think and you let your intuition take over, you really have a nice piece. So uh, I, I think this is a wonderful piece. I love her colors and her shapes. Now, the next one is one of mine. I decided I did this painting. The, the flower on the right is too big, I thought. The little flowers in the middle, they don't fit. And so I decided that I was going to, you'll have to excuse uh, uh, Taco, Taco don't, don't bark. Anyway, I redid this. It's cool and I don't like cool flowers. I wanted them warm. I wanted them inviting. So this is what I ended up doing. I ended up making the flower on the far right much smaller built in other flowers, did greenery, warmed it up. It was a much more successful piece. And uh, so you have to constantly work with your work. Now, the next piece, I just love this. This is Lisa Fletcher's work. And she asked, I'm coaching her, and she asked, hey, could I just get one of your thumbnail sketches? Because I'm having some problems with this. And I gave her this one. And this was a long time ago. Little did I know or notice the female figure in this in this drawing. It was a landscape. It was a just a quick three second or four four minutes or whatever little sketch. And this is what Lisa did with this. And she's now I've talked her into doing a series because they're so fabulous. This is, she saw the figure, and here she is. She's got the figure in there. She's having an absolute ball. Look at the neck. I said, leave the neck long. That is great. Then she took it a step further, and she <laughs> she did this one, which, hey, look, how, how many years has it been since you wore long white gloves? Got to give her credit. I almost forgot they existed. But I love this. I think it's great. Then she decided to do some sketches. And this is where she is now. She's doing sketches. Look at this. This is going to be fabulous. And this is all from a sketch, a thumbnail sketch, which was an abstract. Here is another one. Now, I am going to critique this one because I think the head of the animal needs to be larger needs to be moved over. Uh, it, it hits the breast at the very edge and it needs to come over the breast a little bit. And the head, I think, probably needs to be bigger. But look at where it's come. This is the height of creativity. I love it. I think it's fabulous. So, hey, what a challenge. Take one of your thumbnail sketches and see what you can't do with it and make something totally different. Well, wasn't that fun? I, I mean, I loved it. So hopefully that helped you say, yes, I saw that mistake, or yes, I saw that strength, or yes, I love those neutrals, or yes, the design was good. Whatever, this helps 
you develop your eye. And that's what we want, your eye for critique to make your paintings the best. So I will see you. And, and by the way, I think I might even do this every once in a while. So if you're really brave enough and you want to have your things critiqued, send them to me. Anyway, I will see you next week. Have a fantastic week. Bye-bye. I love you. Yeah.